In this third video, I wanted to demonstrate uh, how we intend to use one Netduino as a client and one Netduino as a server. I just demonstrated in the other videos how the server operates. In fact, that server is still running, and I'll just use a standard web client to turn off the LED. And so that, that server is still responding. And then what I've done, since I don't have a second Netduino connected to this system, I'll use the emulator, which can uh, issue client commands. And the, uh, the emulator right now is set up, as you can see, with an IP address and a command. And this particular command, as I showed you before, requires two arguments. And so I'll just make the, uh, just to demonstrate something different, show a power pulse command with a one time one second on one second off and this particular uh, set of code is is uh, from the samples from the net dot net micro uh, sample HTTP client just modified or simplified so that basically all it does is send uh, uh, a collection of a string that's built up from three variables and so the project is uh, built out of the solutions built out of two projects one is the emulator test and the second one is called the power bid client which actually is intended to to uh, take these three strings put them together here and send it as a web request with a simple get statement and just minimal options. That's it. So uh, that is configured right now not to deploy to the Netduino, but it'll, it will. You'll see it'll just run as an emulator. So I'll run that. The emulator should come up, and the emulator issued a uh, command over the internet, which is. Uh, actually connected through uh, uh, AC line support for IP packets.